we promise you a very, very successful National People's Conference. And uh, there's a role already a lot of excitement by our membership. I think you can see the debate which is going on within the party. Uh, people vociferously expressing their views on different aspects of the party. And in this instance, we are a democratic party. We always remind people that uh, when a nation purposely sacrifices lives so that it could become Zimbabwe again, these are people who made conscious decisions. And conscious decisions belie that they are being made by, in a democratic manner. So the ethos of democracy <coughs> is ingrained in our history of the struggle. We made democratic decisions to sacrifice and pay the heavy, heavy, heavy price for that. So in this vein, we very much as the party welcome the robust debate which is going on across a variety of issues. And we promise a very lively conference, but at the same time, a conference which will see the party being accounted for by its membership as to how it is delivering the Zimbabwe which the Zimbabweans want. You should be clarifying the debate to me. <laughs> eh? Because it's an ongoing, not at all, we're going to dim Muriku praise. Clarifying what the debate is about. Well, anyway, what I know, uh, because we don't, uh, we, we, we are a democratic party, uh, there's a constitution which was written with our president being a key drafter of that particular constitution. That constitution was supported by the two parties at that particular time. It was taken to the country through a consultative process, the most extensive and intensive consultation process, a COPAC. The final document came out. It was a, adopted by the two parties. And then there was a referendum about the constitution. And the parliament of Zimbabwe passed that particular constitution. It is the operative document of the present Zimbabwe government, of which President Mnangagwa is the president. So he was involved at each and every stage of the drafting of this document. His mandate in 2023 was based on this particular constitution. And as a constitutionalist, he is true to that document. And he has made it plain that he will be true to that document. That's what the president has said. Otherwise, he, def he departs from the Constitution, and being a lawyer and a constitutionalist and a revolutionary, it would not be proper. Probably with the propriety that he was one of the key drafters. You know, I sometimes can be quite generous in my wedding on many issues, but the president, from the day he gave me this job, he says we are there to make friends regardless of what may have happened in the past with the big powers. We have no reason to perpetuate gratuitous quarrels with big centers of power on the global stage. We are only 16 million Zimbabweans. We are in the center of Africa. We are land-linked because we are landlocked. So we are land-linked. We thrive on the base of relations with our neighbors. We also thrive on the base of relations with everybody on the global stage, regardless. So we will not be enamored to our past. We are definitely focused on the future. And the president's diplomas on the global stage to date attest to that. So it's always known that. We also had our intelligence. Uh, we could have made a lot of noise about that. But we understood the challenges of South Africa's transition to independence. They did not fight the extent which we did, so they are state it go through the processes of being transformed. So along this way, there may have been leakages or there may have been weaknesses in the South African uh, state uh, system at that particular time. And uh, with the historical 
preponderance of the West. They were in attempts at manipulating the new state of South Africa against even the wishes of the ruling party, against the majority. You can see it has always been the case that South Africa's opposition talks as if Zimbabwe is still Cecil John Rhodes' country. I, I last time made an allusion to the Cecil John Rhodes syndrome. Everybody who is on the payroll of the dark forces which don't want African process in South Africa is given a microphone to say something about Zimbabwe. <laughs> Everyone in South Africa who is on the payroll, they have got enough issues which they could be talking about in their own country. But those who are in the payroll, once they get a microphone, they are told, you, you, you get the microphone on condition that you say something a bit about Zimbabwe. So these are the challenges which were faced, and I'm glad that former President Mbeki, a cadre of the liberation struggle, is now coming out and opening the cat of worms and pointing straight finger at our opposition. Remember, our opposition has also been always attacking Mbeki. He should do this. They want him make to be the governor general of Zimbabwe. They have no respect for the territorial boundaries between the two countries. You, the ANC should do this about Zimbabwe. We used to host the ANC here. And they would go back and say, they are being told to become your governors in Zimbabwe. We will not do that. because we were, uh, That's why earlier on I made a reference to acquiring a political soul during the National Liberation Movement. When we shared camps in Tanzania, Angola, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Namibia, uh, uh, South Africa. This, so we have a political soul. So this is what Mbeki is riding upon to expose the opposition. By the way, the opposition has no roots except those of which it has been given by the West. They don't have any roots. That's why they've splintered and fissured and disappeared. Now I don't even know whether there's anybody to accuse because the opposition no longer exists anymore. I mean, there's, there's somebody to accuse, but there's nobody to finger point it. <laughs> because history has dispensed with them. Mazon, Zitato Zago, 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 So this is the story which Mbeke, Comrade Mbeke is bringing out into the open. Uh, we know the dark forces which are at play, but like I said earlier on, our president is fixed on the windshield, where we are going. He is not fixed on the rear view mirror. So we are not going to make an issue about the countries which may have been behind uh, the manipulation of our opposition. We definitely will continue to remind Zimbabweans, but my world have any opposition. No, I know Kusha Girai could have an avenue upon South Africa, Kunziwa, Kuzgun, South Africa, Gai Pindi, and Zimbabwe. Sagana Wine, Munagaku Aramas, where you can only talk at Zia Kuti Pio boxing on the MDC. Zia was the Poyo boxing on the Triple C. No, why, Joesh, or Rese, I'm speaking in Shona because this is real much more for us now a domestic issue. We are not going to try to continue to globalize this issue, like I said earlier on. We are not here to perpetuate gratuitous quarreling with the top regional and global, the top global powers of this world. What is happening now on the global stage in terms of the geopolitical shift, where Asia is the drive of the new energy revolution, where Asia is the drive of the food revolution, and Indonesia, where we have to feed about 400 million in each calf, where we have Zimbabwe. These are the drivers of the new world economy the middle class which is coming out of Asia, and Africa is a young population which has got opportunities to seize, to supply the goods and services which are now required in the new world economy. This is where we are focused. And there's a role to play by the original economic powers in the world. America, when I say economic, capital, those who had an advantage of access to capital and who could then have excess capital to export America is there, you cannot take it away. Europe is still the leader in many aspects. The world is, you know, trying to unite in way, many more ways than one. And you know, then there are the Japan, they've always been there. We cannot take the role out of the one. Because are a global stage. So we are not there to take issues with those countries about what may have gone wrong 
in their role in Zimbabwe in the past as they tried to seek regime change. We are there to seize new opportunities with these countries because they remain a vibrant, important market for technology, for capital, for innovation, for management services, and most important, for markets. We need them. So at this point, to point diplomatic fingers. As we know, and why did we? I only said we never know about it. Everybody likes people to be free. Mm -hmm. I then call for people to be free. Tango to talk about Zanu people who don't matter. We never know. Vasunungoki, Vasununguru. I thought Zanu people would have gone kudos for making that suggestion. But anyway, I emphasize. We only call because ZANPF does not, we, 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 appoint, we, we, we run the government through the president. Ministers are not answerable to this building. Ministers are not directly answerable to this building. They are directly answerable to this building through the president. So decisions about the administration of justice, they are made at cabinet by the president. Not in the Police Bureau, ZANPF. I thought it was easy. We told me to press briefing, so we were choosed. But we were square, we were press, no one knows how to do it. It's just that we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police. Two people's conference, and we were going to go to the police. We were going to go to the minister, and we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police, and we were going to go to the police. That's why the people's conference is there to take note. We have an arm's length relationship with the cabinet. Mm -hmm. And that arm's length through, goes through the umbilical cord of our president. But at the same time, we are also free to express views on any particular issue. And when we express them, it doesn't mean we are giving directives. No, we don't. It's mischief to even allude to that. But that as it may, we are very happy with Waga Buritsko. <laughs> we are always happy with Waga Buritsko. Uh, in any case, even the actual appearance, I can't believe it. I think.